but this is the trailer for that did. They straight up hit us with this out of nowhere. Marvel just posted this on their Twitter. It's a new game that's gonna be, I guess, revealed properly tomorrow. It said uh, 10 a.m. PST, which is very interesting. I am very actually excited. Now, I know we've had a lot of, you know, mobile games. We've had a few console games, I suppose, if you can call it that. I mean, we've got Marvel's Avengers by Square Enix and Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which was, a, uh, well, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which was a Switch exclusive, which means no other consoles were able to get it, which is kind of a shame. But uh, I'm kind of excited for this one. It's got very, very good vibes to me just from the trailer. Now, it is developed by, uh, or I, I, I don't know if it's like the actual full on devs or whatever. But it, it seems like it's a very small or a smaller indie dev team, which doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing if they've got a high budget and they've got licenses for a lot of characters. So I'm very interested in what this could be. So I will be posting a video on the full reveal tomorrow, but I think it's a full indication with America Chavez here that it's going to be sort of a multiverse game. That's the kind of vibes I get. And also, I, I don't know if this is going to be the entire video game style, uh, but I absolutely dig the whole aesthetic very comic book cell shaded kind of feel to it which is uh, i'm just a sucker for that i love that so right off the bat it's very good vibes very very good detail it kind of looks even like telltale-esque you know the telltale game series if you don't they did the walking dead they did a bunch of different things like wolf among us uh the batman telltale games as well there's just a bunch of good stuff so it gives off i like the art style here and you know you can see uh iron heart in the background You've got some Doom bots, actually, that's what that is. And Venom's actually fighting against them, too. So it seems like Dr. Doom sort of might be at the very forefront of this thing because Venom seems like he's kind of a good guy here because you've got America Chavez, Ironheart, and Venom taking down these Doom bots. And she just punches it. Oh, dude, look at the beauty of the arc. Like, this, just the art style, the ground. If it does turn out to be a mobile game, that doesn't really matter. I'll cover it on the channel all the same. Just because of the fact that I've covered multiple different mobile games. I've done Marvel Future Revolution. I've done a bunch of fan games. So to me, if this is just a sort of mobile game, so be it. I'll cover it. But if it is a Steam game that's free, I'll also cover it too. Because I think Steam and the consoles are lacking games with uh, cross-play. And if it is free to play with some in-game purchases that are just like optional that would be pretty cool i don't like the games making you spend overly if you're able to be free to play that is completely fine so as you can see here this looks great uh you've got venom here he turns around he looks really good too i actually the venom gives off like i don't know if you can kind of feel it but it's kind of like into the spider verse or across the spider verse kind of vibes just from the outlines and i absolutely dig that so that'd be pretty damn sick dude if it's a multiversal type game so <laughs> oh snap you know marcus chavez tomorrow uh tomorrow's energy today like if you look at the billboard that's what that is oh is that roxon interesting so we've got roxon here all right so there's riri william williams uh iron heart uh the armor looks cool and i absolutely love her design dude she actually looks amazing i really hope they make her really interesting in this game if if we're, if this teaser is to tell us that these are our main characters a rag a ragtag trio of iron heart uh america chavez and venom dude that'd be pretty interesting actually so that looks cool so new verse is another one of the developers here second dinner so tune in tomorrow and this is the big thing right here okay this is an insane thing so I assume what this is, this is telling us all the characters that are going to be in this game. And if this is the case, I have no doubt that this is going to be a multiverse type game. Because obviously, you know, you've got Doctor Doom, Black Widow, Bucky Barnes, Bishop Black Knight, uh, Morph, Nova, Rhino, Spider-Woman, like Jessica Jones, Spider-Woman. Uh, obviously Thanos did a bunch of different characters, Human Torch, and the thing is, these are like individual like uh, names here. So, you know, you've got Captain Marvel, you've got Death, you've got Ant-Man, Adam Warlock, America Chavez, obviously Black Bolt, Cloak, Blade, Black Cat, uh, Miss Marvel as well. The Void, which is insane. If you don't know what the Void is, dude, my God, you've got Phoenix Force. 
Professor Xavier, uh, Modoc, Invisible Woman, Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man himself. There is just so much here, like Colossus, Hulkbuster. Um, I don't know if this is just like the terms or if this is everything they've got licensed because it says 2022 Marvel all the way at the bottom. You can't really see it, but that is actually insanity here. Um, I am blown away by just the sheer roster. I hope they do this game justice. I'm really excited for a new game to just dig into for the channel as well. You know, you've got Spider-Man, you got Venom, you know, you've got the big hitters and you've got also some... Not so big hitters or like some unknown characters, which I'm very excited for them to dive into. I mean, you got freaking Wong here, man. I'm excited to see Wong. I'm excited to see all this stuff. I truly am. There's just so much, I feel like, potential-wise for this. And I, and I just want to play this one more time. I hope I don't get copyrighted by this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some wacky, like, you know, flip stuff. So, America Chavez flies in and she just straight up busts that, like, drone into nothing. She just destroyed it. And then an explosion happens, and we don't get to know much else. They're just reacting to something. Like, Riri's like, oh, damn, this is bad, you know? So, it could be like a big villain reveal that they're planning to do tomorrow. I just know that at this time, I might either live stream this or just post my reaction to it, something like that. But I definitely plan on staying up, because this is going to be something interesting. Okay, and regardless of what happens... I'm posting it. I don't care. I'm, I'm excited. I always want more games. I know that this a Marvel game called Midnight Suns coming, which is like, it is going to be on Steam and it is like, I think, I think it's like a turn-based game um, as far as I'm aware, but it's got like a really good roster. And if the story's good, dude, I'm down for it. But just seeing these characters and you've got a new, oh, wow. In the back, if you see behind Riri, uh, you know, Ironheart it says new Asgard. So that is interesting. So there is like a quite a few sort of Easter eggs here and the game The game looks good, man. I don't know the tra the trailer is a trailer, you know, it can be very misleading, but I Am down for something new right like this looks cool America Chavez's design also looks banger It really looks good too. Everything looks solid that's all I really will say. I've spoken my piece here. Do let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you scared if it's a mobile game? Uh, do you want it to be on consoles? Do you want it to be on Steam? If it is a mobile game, would you play it if it's still on like, you know, PC, Steam, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, stuff like that? Would you give it a chance if they put it on consoles? Because, you know, DC Universe Online, if you don't know, that's a game that's on Steam and consoles. So, if this is something similar to that, it'd be pretty cool if that got the same treatment because this universe online is still going strong. That game, I'm pretty sure is over a decade old now, it's still gone. So there is that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate all of your support. I love you all. Become a channel member if you support me directly and have yourselves an absolute wonderful day. Peace.